Hi YouTube, my name is George. Welcome to my channel. I hope you will enjoy this video. It's about my Astro Track and little improvements that I made in order to be easy to, to mount it on the tripod and also to carry it more easily. As you know, it comes with the wedge like this and you have a bubble level which you can uh, level it. So the first step is to mount the wedge on the tripod and check the bubble level. I have the leveling base on my tripod. If you know my review, you can view it. It will be a link in the description. So now the wedge is leveled and now in order to mount the Astro Track, you have these three screws and here on the wedge, on this triangle, you have also these uh, three holes which you have to align the tracker with the screws. So you have these three screws which you have to screw every single time when you, when you want to, to put your raster track on the wedge. So this takes a lot of time, especially to find the, the hole for alignment. First, you have to, to screw them manually. Then you have to find the other hole for the second screw. Yes, especially if this, if you you do this on the night, is very helpful. Thank you. There we go. And the other one. Okay, this will take longer, but I want to show you that you need the screw driver. You need the screw driver in order to, to screw the, the screws. And uh, you have to align it with the holes. And especially if it's night, it's very hard to do it. I'm doing, I'm doing it in the daylight. So now, Done with the first screw. Of course, you have to unscrew this in order to have the space for the other one. So it's a very, very not pleasant process. Now the other one. Okay. So now you have uh, your raster track on the wedge. It's okay, but from my point of view, it's a very, very nasty process and I don't like it at all. So I thought to a solution that uh, might also work for you. So uh, I will show you what you will need in, in order for this to work. You will need this. The Skywatcher Star Adventurer ball adapter, and uh, you you will have to do some tricks here. So you need to unscrew these uh, two screws here, these two black screws, and uh, you will need this uh, Allen key to do that. Smaller one. Okay. Have to undo these two screws. After that, you will have this uh, this hole in here and uh, this this screw. 
which you can keep it or you can throw it away. It depends on you. Maybe you will use it sometimes else. Okay. And now you will also need, you will need the screw, a uh, one four screw with the washer, which will be inserted here. No, here on the other side. The washer will be to block the, the screw head. And uh, you will have uh, something like this. And uh, I will show you where you have to put this in order to, to have a very modular Astro Track. So after you have the screw and the Star Adventurer ball adapter, you have here this, uh, this screw on the Astro Track, uh, this hole, uh, which I had an uh, adapter from uh, 3 8 to 1 4. So now I can put this and uh, screw the, uh, do this, uh, this screw in. And now I have to make sure that it's perfectly centered and I, uh, I have some uh, points for alignment, this, this black here, black screw here and this hole here. So I have to make sure that the center of the ball adapter is uh, to the center of this, uh, these two holes. Okay, I will tighten this screw and then uh, I will come back. You, you will need also this, this type of uh, clamp, a uh, Vixen clamp, in order to clamp the, the ball head adapter from the Star Adventurer with, with this clamp on the wedge. So you have to mount this on the wedge. So I will, I will turn the wedge here. You have this hole, uh, is by default from the, for the Astro Track. And I made here another hole to fit uh, the other hole. So you need these two holes, the one from the top and the one from the bottom, which will fit these two holes here. And you also will need some uh, meter three, uh, three millimeter screws in order to mount it here. And also you will need for this one a bolt because uh, you don't have here any place for uh, screwing it in. So you'll need the bolt to, to lock it from the other side. Uh, I will mount this here. Here are the holes. And I will come back after I will uh, screw the screws in. This is how it looks after you mount this uh, clamp on your, uh, on your wedge. So it's perfectly centered to the, to the center of the wedge. And now with this uh, mounted on the Astro Track with the ball head adapter, you can simply mount and then just uh, fix it on the middle of the clamp. And then you can tighten the, these two screws and you have your Astro Track mounted perfectly on the, on the wedge and also you can unclamp it very quickly and it's very portable and also modular because also uh, you had the two options only to uh, do and undo those screws every single time when you want to track or simply leave the Astro Track on the wedge but you will have a bulky setup like this and it's also not very comfortable to do this every time when you want to uh, track something. And also, from my point of view, this setup is very bulky and I don't really like it. But now with this uh, modular system, it is very, very easy. You can only... It's... It's very simple and very stable. If you noticed, I have this uh, QHI Polemaster adapter for my uh, QHI Polemaster camera. And uh, I want to say that it's working on Android. Maybe also you ask this question like me. So I will also make a review on uh, Android software for the QHI and how to align. Uh, also the Astro Track and maybe it's useful for the Fornex user and also this video I hope it will be also useful for the Fornex users. Thank you very much for your watching. Have a good one. Clear skies.